else and you enjoy your sip of Hi. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. So, um, what kind of question times do you think we used during the interview? Um, well, it was, um, it was, mo it was mostly just open questions, really. Yeah. Um, but a few kind of direct questions were um, used towards uh, Tarantino, which obviously got quite a bad reaction because the guy was talking about things which he obviously didn't want to talk about because he's been talking about the same thing for about 20 years, like yeah. violence related and stuff. So, yeah, mostly open and direct. Okay. And uh, what type of interview was it? So, was it like hard news it was or light hearted? It was, a, it was a formal kind of. Uh, Formal kind of um, interview, so kind of like hard news because it's a news program, obviously. So mm. yeah. Cool. So, do you think um, that the body language of the interviewer and the interviewee, so Quentin Tarantino, yeah. um, reflected about how they felt about each other and what was being said, um, like how yeah, they felt the, about the questions? Yeah, they were both sitting quite, you know, formally, you know, like um, facing each other. Um, the interviewer is very kind of um, close body sort of body language, like just being very sort of formal, just asking him the questions. And Tarantino was kind of just a little bit more relaxed, but yeah, both very straightforward. Absolutely. So, what about um, the topics? So, do you think he reacted well to the topics? Um, well, the topic was, um, it was meant to talk about his new film, Django Unchained. And, um, I mean, he obviously enjoys talking about his film and getting people to know about it. Yeah, and, it was uh, a commercial. Yeah, and the whole discussion of um, slavery, because he said he, people haven't really spoken about it like this until like, 30 years ago. Um, so he's, he's happy with the reaction he's got from his film that people have sort of just started talking. But he wasn't happy at all with Tarantino, uh, not Tarantino, the uh, interviewer asking him about. Um, violence and things, and he's already spoken about it before, and he's obviously not comfortable about it, and he keeps pushing it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what do you think they were like active listening as well, so they respond as well to each other's questions? No. No. Like, um, Tarantino's quite a character, but yeah, he responded, I reckon, at the beginning and the last kind of bit of the interview. Um, he reacts well, he gives a really good kind of insight on the questions, but when they um, when it gets a bit heated because of Tarantino's noise, they aren't they aren't very good with one another because the interviewer continues to try and ask him similar questions which you know related to the violence of his films and why he does it. Yeah. So, um, so you're saying he's trying to like So obviously the, 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 the interview yes, yeah, so the interviewer isn't actively listening to his interviewee because he hasn't got a message that he obviously doesn't want to talk about this mm -hmm. subject. So, so um, was the interview, do you think it was uh, well structured? Um, did they have like a good ending? Um, did he try and wrap it up and um, did they kind of start off? I felt um, there wasn't any huge noticeable structure. I mean the, the interview throughout was very similar. I mean. It was pretty much all about his film. There wasn't much about what Tarantino's doing now, what his other works are. It was all around the film. So, yeah. Um, and then when it closed up, it was just sort of very quick. Just thank you. And, yeah. Mm. So okay. there was, there, I don't think there was any solid structure. It was all just kind of one thing, really. Like there wasn't there wasn't really much background information other than the violence in the film. And, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs>